One of the most painful things during a discard by an avoidant is when they tell you that they've fallen out of love with you, that the feelings just aren't there anymore. In reality, it isn't quite so simple and that usually isn't the case because typically just days before the avoidant was acting like they were all into you. They may have even been telling you how much they love you. You probably just came back from a wonderful vacation and then days later they're telling you that the feelings aren't there and they're just not in love and you don't understand how this can possibly be. Well, understand when an avoidant has their fears triggered, the fears of engulfment, abandonment and rejection. It's like a brick wall comes up inside of themselves, a spring loaded brick wall, and they block off access to their feelings for you. They block off their own access. So it's not necessarily the case that the feelings are gone. They just stuck them in a vault and buried them down deep and they're not allowing themselves to access the feelings. That's the way they've learned to cope with emotional and relationship stress is to not deal with it, is to bury it and suppress it. Because of their fears, their fears of rejection and abandonment, they've blocked off their access to their feelings for you. And because avoidants struggle to self-reflect, they often don't know why they feel the way they do because they are afraid to look deep within themselves to understand these feelings. They will tell themselves very surface level explanations as to why their feelings for you are suddenly no longer accessible to them. They'll tell themselves that you must just be the wrong person or that they just lost feelings for you. But when no contact is used, when you put no contact in place and time and space goes by, the avoidant feels safe because they're no longer being pressured and pursued by you to be in a relationship. That's when they lower that brick wall and they allow themselves to access their feelings for you again. This is why more often than not, the avoidant ex reaches out in no contact and tries to get back together. It's because those feelings were never actually gone. They just weren't allowing themselves to access the feelings. There is a big difference. It's a very dysfunctional way of handling emotional and relationship stress to block off, to shut down, to prevent themselves from accessing feelings. They are so afraid of heartbreak and pain that it's easier for them to shut down and unfortunately abandon you rather than risk being abandoned. But understand, it's nothing that you did. And it's usually not the case that they lost the feelings. It's usually just the case that they won't let themselves feel their feelings anymore. It's nothing that you did, so don't blame yourself. You didn't cause their attachment wounds that are unhealed. Can they heal them? Yes, they can. But it's up to the avoidant. They have to want it. They have to want the healing badly enough to do the difficult self-reflection and the work required to heal and become more secure.